Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to balance this equation. This is hydrobromic acid, this is calcium hydroxide, this is calcium bromide and this is water, right? Okay, to balance this reaction, let me draw a table like this. On the left hand side, we'll write the we'll write the reactants atoms right so in the left hand side we have here one hydrogen plus here we have two hydrogen two goes to everyone right so two plus two that gives me three and we have one bromine here we have one calcium And here we have two oxygen, two goes to everyone, so two oxygen. And here we have already we have counted the hydrogen, two hydrogen, right? So in the right hand side we have one calcium, here we have two bromine, and here we have two hydrogen. And here we have one oxygen okay here we have three hydrogen but here we have two hydrogen so we can balance by hydrogen if I multiply here by two that gives me six hydrogen right okay and here we have to multiply by three that gives me six hydrogen if you multiply here by 2, then these two must come before this hydrogen. That is here. But here is a, uh, here is a difficulty. Uh, here hydrogen, ha uh, hydrogen uh, has occupied two places. One is hydrogen bromide, bromide and another is calcium hydroxide. So our attempt to balance hydrogen at first is very difficult so uh, we'll not consider hydrogen at first so what I'll do I will just uh, delete this right okay let me target to balance bromine first so here we have one but here we have two so to balance the bromine I can multiply here by two multiply here by 2 that gives me 2 right so if I multiply here by 2 these two must come before this bromine that is here if I place here 2 then my uh, number of hydrogen will be updated so we are getting here 2 hydrogen plus here we have 2 so 2 plus 2 that gives me Four, right for hydrogen so our bromine is balanced now we'll target the balance uh, will now we'll target to balance the hydrogen right if I target to balance the hydrogen what I can do I can multiply here by 2 that gives me 4 if I multiply here by 2, these two must come before this hydrogen, that is here. If I place here 2, then my oxygen will be updated. So we are getting here 2 oxygen, right? Now our hydrogen is balanced, bromine is balanced, but our oxygen is also balanced. And our calcium is also balanced. So you can say that this is the balanced reaction between hydrobromic acid and calcium hydroxide okay let me show you the second way to balance this equation right okay remember you can write water h2 like hoh right okay so let me delete it so we can write water like hoh 
notice that in the left hand side we have wage but in the right hand side we have we, we don't have uh, wage but if we write uh, what are like h wage then we get wage right so this is the secret to balance this reaction quickly so in the left hand side we have hydrogen we have bromine we have calcium and we have wedge in the right hand side we have calcium we have bromine and we have hydrogen and here we have wedge so to balance the hydroxide what i can do i can multiply here by 2 right that gives me 2 these two must come before this hydroxide that is here so i have to place here 2 if i place here 2 then number of hydrogen will be 2 so i have to update my hydrogen so here our bromine is 2 but here 1 but calcium 1 1 hydroxide 2 2 so now let me balance the number of bromine here uh, here bromine 2 but here 1 so i can easily multiply here by 2 that gives me 2 these two must come before this bromine that is here if i place here 2 then my number of hydrogen will be 2 so i have to place here 2 now you see that hydrogen 2 2 bromine 2 2 calcium 1 1 hydroxide 2 2 so everything is balanced now you can say that this is the balanced equation so thank you for viewing this video be well